they have worn really well, but it's not Valentine's Day anymore, and I want to move into spring. But I did want to show you how they look. So you can see that there's a little bit of growth, but they really didn't chip or peel. They wear like iron. Here are the two different Color Street um, spring nail packets that I'm going to be using today. I think I can mix and match them a little bit later on too. So I will show you that and how you decide which ones you're going to put on your nails. And then the first thing we're going to do is remove the polish that I already have on. And I'm going to use this Mineral Fusion where all I'm going to do is put some in a plastic bag down at the bottom and dip this in some warm water. So I'll show you how that works and how easy it is. And then um, we'll get um, then we'll get busy putting the nail strips on. And by the way, the Color Street is actual nail polish. They're not stickers, it's nail polish. And that's what makes them wear so darn well. They're not like stickers that peel off or chip or anything like that. Actually, they're better than, than polish in that they don't chip. They're um, almost pliable, like rubbery, like, uh, anyway, really like them a lot. So one other thing that I want to mention before I begin with the application of the nails, and some of you may have already noticed this, and I know some of my close friends have said to me that they have noticed I have a trimmer. And sometimes when I am editing, I will see my hands shaking and I think, oh, but you know what? It, it is what it is. I've had these micro trimmers for quite a few years. And according to the doctor, that noticed them herself a few years ago. There was nothing uh, that could be done. I don't think they're getting worse, worse in that I can still hold a cup of coffee. I can still brush my teeth. I have to say that it is difficult for me to put artificial lashes on because the harder I try to hold my hand steady, the more I, <laughs> and I feel like I'm gonna poke my eye out. So like, I don't do that very often, once in a while, uh, and it takes me quite a while to get that lash. But anyway, you're probably going to see my shaky hands. And here's what I say about that. If I can apply these Color Street nail strips, nail polish strips, to my hands with my micro tremors and my shaky hands, <laughs> you can easily do this. So that being said, let's take off this Valentine polish nails down into the corner pocket of this and then I'm putting it into some warm water which I put this bowl in the microwave for about 20 seconds. Actually it's a little hot. <laughs> oh, it's, I said warm but that's actually kind of hot. I might need to add a little cool water to that. So the, the heat helps it to activate. seconds, maybe two minutes, maybe, five, six seconds, just a couple of minutes. And then I'm going to So the first thing I'm going to do is clean my nails and I'm going to go ahead and start the timer just so you can see how long the whole process takes. Let's pull that open. My nails are clean and you can see that I pulled the strips out of the cellophane package. I still have one set. This is only one set. And I'm going to decide now which 
fits best. I pulled this one off because I already know it doesn't fit my thumb. Perhaps my toe, if I wanted an accent toe. So I'm going to move that aside. This particular one is a pretty good fit for my thumb. So there's my thumb. And by the way, the thumb will be the last one that I do. So there's my thumb. What I want to do is have mostly plaid on my hand and then an accent. So the next is my pinky. There's my pinky. And probably this one, again, sorry, you know, I'm going to shake. I already warned you about that. It's a little bit more narrow. Maybe I'll use one of the bigger ones because this doesn't stick to the skin. And when you first apply it, you might think, uh-oh, it's sticking to my skin, but it really won't. Once you wash your hands or apply some lotion, Timer. I did not turn the timer off, but I wanted to clear my space. So we've got a few extra seconds on there that uh, normally it would not take. So I'm going to peel this little protective strip off, and then I'm going to take this silver tab and peel the polish off of that. And then I place it and kind of smoosh it. And they're fairly pliable at this point. And then I'm going to tear that little silver tab off. Stick it aside. And then what you can do is bend this down, but I'm going to use my scissors and just cut it off. It's just a little easier. Whoop. It's a little easier. Ah, uh, there we go. Now, again, if someone as shaky as me can do this, trust me, you can do this too. So even if I don't get it perfectly on, I can reposition it, but I want to smooth it down. And then what I'm doing here is I'm pulling that extra off. See how that went? Very easy. And I'll go back and clean that up with my little file later. Okay, so now the accent. I probably could have positioned that one a little bit better. And if you're getting it, as I said, if you're getting it in the cuticle area, it's okay. It's going to not stick to your skin. And then I pull that off and then I'll come back and I'll clean that cuticle area up. Not a big deal. Oop, they're very sticky. And I'm actually taking a little extra time so I can show you. Yeah, okay. So look, that's a good example. Because I'm so shaky, I kind of messed that one up. So that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and not use that.
Now, what I want to do is just wait uh, a little bit before I start working on the cuticles. All right, so where are we at? We're at 11 and a half minutes for this, and then maybe a couple of minutes to clean up the cuticles there. But even with me being so shaky, I still can do a pretty darn good manicure. See now how that just peels right off because it doesn't want to stick to my skin. And if I were to put some lotion on now, it really would come off very, very easily. But I just wanted to show you how the edges will just clean right up. Again, 12 minute manicure. <laughs> hey everybody, just a last minute addition. As I'm editing, I thought maybe I should show you how the nails are wearing. Uh, it's been a little over a week since I applied them and they've worn a little bit down on the ends and there's a little bit of growth, but no chips, no peeling. They still look pretty good. So that's it. It's pretty simple. It's pretty great. It saves you a lot of time. It saves you money. They have so many patterns and plain colors, sparkles, glitters, all kinds of um, choices. I haven't been to a nail salon in over a year and I thought I was really going to miss it because I enjoyed that time. But you know what? I like the idea that I have a, a fresh, fun manicure. They'll last three weeks. Really, if you noticed on my others, my Valentine nails, it's just a matter of growing out that you really notice. So they wear very well. So I'll link some information. You may want to check in your uh, own community as to who might be selling these. I know a lot of people who are doing hair at the salons, they have them. So you might find someone local, but I'll put uh, the name of the gal that I get mine from. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, fun spring. Um, I sort of hand fashion, if you will, a manicure in less than 10 minutes, 12 minutes, if you count the, the detailing at the end, but it's pretty simple and if someone with micro tremors like I have can do this, you can do this. So if you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, join me. I come on every Thursday and I try to present things that we in the 50 plus community would be interested in. And that's everything from keeping busy and keeping active to paying attention to our health issues and some of the things that we never had to think about before. So I will see you soon. Have a good weekend. I'll see you next Thursday. Take care. Bye-bye.